So I emailed Flight One about this to ask the devs, and they responded that yes, there is a basic MCAS simulation, not the full system, and it won't account for exactly what the full MCAS will do in real life, but the included simulation in the plane right now does push the nose down if you enter a stall condition. The iFly 737 MAX allows you to arm the door like you would in real life, meaning you can reach down to the bottom of the door and attach the slides to the hooks on the floor, arming them. And as a quality of life, arming the doors also automatically puts the ribbon across the porthole, telling the ground crew that the door is armed. The overhead lights can be turned on and off straight away from the flight attendant panel as long as the aircraft is powered. But if you notice, the window lights are off. These lights are attached to the cabin utility switch inside the flight deck and must be turned on for these lights to work. The ground service mode allows the flight crew to shut down the aircraft but keep certain electrical systems powered by the GPU. That way, the ground crew can continue to service the aircraft. You can activate ground service mode by pressing this button. Now that we have ground service mode active, we could head over to the flight deck and shut down the aircraft. We can turn off our APU. We can turn off the batteries. And as you can see, the cabin lights remain on. The lights in the cargo hold remain on. And the nav lights of the aircraft remain on. 